Harley Davidson bombarding us with two double headers yesterday. Brand new enthusiast collection and a brand new icons collection. Let's get into it. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We got a lot to talk about today, a lot to go over. Harley Davidson bombarding us yesterday with the brand new Enthusiast Collection, the Fast Johnny Collection. Paint looks sick. And then on top of that, we got to see the brand new icon for 2023. Well, another icon, because god damn it, so, so much stuff coming out. It's only, we're, we're only what, five months into this year already, and, and Harley just keeps trickling little gems here and there, and it's a lot going on. Now really quick, because I know some of you guys might be confused on what is the Enthusiast Collection and what is the Icons Collection. So we're just gonna go real quick and explain the difference between the two before we dive into all the details, the paint, and, and all the cool stuff that we see right here. The Enthusiast Motorcycle Collection celebrates the diversity of our community and the unique background and interest of the people within it. Launched annually, each series pays tribute to a subset of our broader community of riders available in limited quantities across a selection of models. So that's the enthusiast. We'll go over the icons now. What makes this different? The Icons Motorcycle Collection, an extraordinary series of Harley Davidson motorcycles inspired by the most recognizable and sought after models. Each Icon motorcycle celebrates our signature color, designs, and parts, and merges them with the latest technology. These bikes are limited edition, numbered motorcycle produced only once. A new Icon will be debut annually. So that is the difference between the Icons and the Enthusiast. Now, let's go over the Enthusiast models really quick first. The Fast Johnny paint set, absolutely beautiful. So these are basically ST models. So we got the Street Glide ST, Rogue Glide ST, and the Low Rider ST with the Fast Johnny paint set. We got the blue and white, um, looks absolutely great. We're also gonna have Johnny the Pig on the left side of the tank, uh, the first racing mascot. That thing looks super, super cool. I like the way they just kind of put that on the tank right there. It looks special, it looks pretty cool. Now, the 2023 Fast Johnny Enthusiast Motorcycle Collection pays homage to the street performance and trick paint jobs of classic muscle car culture. That's pretty cool. I like the way Harley Davidson just incorporates a little bit, a uh, little ideas here with this and that, and it kind of merges all together, and they create this cool little thing, this little segment right here. Now, you must be asking yourself, well, these are basically ST models. What makes them different from the regular ST models. Um, the only difference is gonna be the paint. That's it. Besides that, it's just a regular ST model, but this paint job here is really, really sick. I like the way they they incorporated the white with the blue, um, and it's a real nice blue. I'm, I'm not a huge, huge, crazy fan of blue, but this the, this blue is really nice, and I like the way they incorporated the white in there, and then once again, the, the mascot of the pig on the left side of the tank looks really cool. Just makes it look really special. Um, so you got three options. You got the Road Glide, Street Glide, and the Low Rider S. Which one do you guys think looks better? Um, I personally like the way the Road Glide looks the best. Not not just because I'm a, I'm a Road Glide owner, but it just, to me, it just, it looks the best on the Road Glide. It looks sick, man. I like the way everything is blacked out, like the bronze wheels on it. I think it brings all the colors in all together. Um, and it looks really, really cool. Hopefully my local dealership gets one or two of these in soon and I can give you guys a nice little in-depth review of those bikes. Now, moving on to the Icons. Absolutely beautiful Harley Davidson has done here with these bikes. I mean, I'm, I, you take a look at these bikes and you're like, God damn, like, if, if you could say, if you could put Harley Davidson and put the word pretty next to it, this is what that, that bike would be. Like, th this bike just looks beautiful it screams out pretty it just god wow like it, it looks really good so these came out in two colors right here we're gonna have the high five orange and birch white and then we're gonna have the high five magenta with birch white as well which one do you guys like better i'm not sure like i'm um, kind of like that magenta uh, a little more than the orange it looks pretty cool in the pictures in the video it looked really red but then when you look at the the picture when you go online and you're kind of turning the bike around um, it, it looks purple, so magenta, yeah. I like the way they incorporated the uh, tinted windshield with the matching color, I think that looks pretty cool. That was a nice little touch right there. Obviously all chromed out, giving it that beautiful classic look. 
Um, and if you had to ask me what this bike would or does look like, it does resemble a lot of the first Icon bike that we saw in 2021, which was the Revival Electric Glide. So basically the same bike without the uh, that fairing in the front that we first saw. But wow, it, it, it looks beautiful, man. It, it really does. I These bikes I really wanna see in person. It's like, these are the type of bikes that you just, you just love to see and just take a step back and just admire its beauty. Like that's, that's like classic, classic Harley Davidson right there. That's that's beautiful. These icons have a lot of classic style with just a modern touch to it. That's what kind of makes these icons really, really special because they're just taking something from the past, bringing it right now to the present and just adding a little modern twist to it makes it real, real special. They did that with the Lowrider S t el diablo and like i said before with the 2021 electric glide revival now the price point on these bikes are a little steep in my opinion twenty seven thousand dollars for this bike right here and yes they are very limited now the high five orange is gonna have a thousand uh produced globally and the magenta is only gonna be 750 produced globally so the magenta is gonna be a little bit more sought after for those of you guys who want these bikes right here um, very limited, high price point. Um, do I like what Harley Davidson is doing with these icons? Yes, I absolutely love it. I like the fact that they're taking something from the past, making it modern, and they're giving the consumer something special uh, to hold, something nostalgic to hold from the past. Um, and it's, it's, it's really cool. Um, price point, I don't know. I just, me personally, I honestly think that $27,000 for a bike like this is just a little bit too, too much, a little too excessive for me. I don't know, but what you guys think about the price down below? I mean, the bike is basically a heritage, and the heritage you could get it for twenty-one thousand dollars. So, I mean, you know, it's a it's a it's a big difference. And I, I mean, I do see the reason why the value is there. It's a numbered bike. It's very limited. It's an icon, um, and it's something that I'm pretty sure is gonna be very sought after. Um, but me personally, I just twenty-seven thousand dollars for that bike. I mean, after taxes fees and everything else that all the crazy little stuff that they add on a dealership you're looking at a thirty thousand dollar bike right there so yeah beautiful yes for me no and even back to the enthusiast uh collection the fast johnny paint job that's gonna be like a three thousand dollar paint job um do i think that's a three thousand dollar paint job i don't know maybe i mean the paint job on my bike was about I don't know if it was maybe like, I think it was close to $2,000 on top of like a regular solid paint job. So $3,000 for that, I, I guess. I guess that's a little more, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. These, these prices lately are just going up, 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 up. Anyways, drop your thoughts in comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about these bikes. Do I think they're beautiful? Yes, they look amazing. They look great. I like what Harley Davis is doing. They're keeping everybody interested every few months and they're trickling a lot of stuff down the pipeline. So can't wait to see more. And like I said before, hopefully my local dealerships get some of these bikes in and we could do some content for you guys, get you a nice little close-up looks of everything, nice little reviews. Anyways, if you wanna see more content like this, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe, and enjoy the ride, baby.